morning guys it is a rainy dreary day today it was sprinkling it's stopped now but it's probably gonna rain again soon good morning guys i got my coffee here the um, mocha latte stuff this can is not like the others it gives me more of a foam than a you know it doesn't have any high pressure or something in it so that's okay though got Corey's coffee over there Dogs have just been outside. Right now. No, yeah, right. Now I've got three of them running around begging for food. Oh, goodness. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Good morning, guys. I have two fried eggs, a slice of cheese, half a cup of my berries. Usually I don't show my fruit in the morning, but I've been starting to do that. So just a half a cup mixed blueberries and blackberries. I'm still working on my coffee. And the dogs are chilling in there. Luna has her bone. She loves that bone. Best thing we ever bought her. She will chew on that bone for hours. It's just awesome. So that is it for breakfast, guys, for now. And then this is five points. And this is actually four points. So my coffee has been going up in points. i got to stop that. But I do refill it with black coffee, so I have like two cups in one, technically. So I guess it's not too bad. I just keep filling up with just plain black coffee. And that is it for breakfast. Hey guys, we had a little accident on my bed. Uh, Nick had the puppy up there and she piddled because he didn't realize that every time she woke up she had to pee. So she he grabbed her right up from her bed after she just woke up without peeing. And he was playing with her on my bed and she peed on my bed. So I'm off to the laundromat. We have a huge, really thick mattress pad. Thankfully it didn't go through to our mattress, but um, it went through to our mattress pad. So I have to take that into the laundromat to wash it because it's way too big to fit in my washer. So that's what I'm doing next. So fun, fun, fun. Okay guys, this is lunch today. We have a Boca burger, just plain, with one slice of cheese. As you've seen, I only put 12 grams of ketchup on because 15 is just a little bit too much. I could probably get away with 10 even, so that is zero points. This is two, this is one, and the Boca burger is one. So four points for the burger, and the wrap is one. The meat is one total because the ham, was, or the the turkey was zero, the ham was one, the feta cheese was under 15 grams, so that's zero, and the Miracle Whip is one. So the total of my wrap would be three smart points. So seven smart points for the entire lunch, plus I have a half a cup of, well, three quarters cup of coffee, whatever was left, and I do only have a little tiny bit of the foam on there. So that is um, two smart points for the coffee. So whatever I said, plus two. <laughs> so that is lunch today, guys. And then I'm going to be heading to the um, laundromat to get that washed because I need to get my bed made. And oh, good job, Luna. Good job. She pottied on her potty pad. Yay. Okay. Um, that is it, guys. And we will see you for probably snack. Guys, I am heading off to the laundry mat. I just realized that the lens on my camera on the other side of my phone has a crack in it. So I must have dropped it and cracked it at some point. I'm trying to clean it off to film. It's 
It's got a crack in it. Anyway, got my water. And this is, I got this cap from Amazon. This is awesome. It does not leak. Like, you can tip this thing upside down. No leaks. Not even a drip. Love it. So I got my water in there. I had all my change in my pocket, but my pants kept falling down, so I had to put it in a baggie. Um, carrots for my snack. And, and I have my book that I am reading at the laundromat. It's inside Luna's bed, because usually I have Luna with me, but today she's staying home. But anyway, that is my little outing, and I'm off to the laundromat. I will link this cap down below in the description box. This is for, this fits any 30 ounce um, tumbler. So I've got the Yeti, and it does fit like the Relief and those other 30 ounce mugs. So definitely look at getting this. I think it was nine something, but I'll link it down below. And I don't get any credit or anything for it. So I'll just link the Amazon link that I got it, where I got it from below. Okay guys, I am having this. I believe this is seven points. This is two. She's still working on Miley's bone. And sometimes her ears... Luna! Luna! Sometimes her ears stick up. Sometimes they don't. So I think they're on the verge of maybe staying up. I know my um, daughter-in-law has a min pin and she said his didn't stay up all the time until he was you know four months or more old so she's getting close to that now so maybe i don't know not all min pins ears stand they flop over but um she is trying she's trying to get him up there but she's so cute either way it's not going to matter to us but i don't know if they don't they don't she's scratching out the inside of the bone the stuff that Miley couldn't reach, she can dig her little paws in there and scratch it out and then she eats it. <laughs> She's so funny. get to show you this but for supper I had the Thai style chopped salad kit one serving of that which was four smart points and I was one over for the night but not bad hi guys the videos you just seen were for the 18th August 18th I did not do the 19th but I did do the some of the 20th so I will post that next here if you want to keep an eye out for that the garden update is at the very end for those who don't want to see the garden update then you can just stop the video at the end of the what I ate so I just thought that'd be easier just to do the garden update just all at the end and make it a little bit easier so if you want to see the 20th it is coming up and we did have a cookout at a friend's house so we were there most of the afternoon and I did take a picture of what I ate there so here are my screenshots for August 19th, and this is a Saturday. Two fried eggs with a piece of cheese, Velveeta, five points. My coffee is four points, and that is breakfast this morning. Okay, guys, I have a snack here. I'm just having one of the Sandwich Brothers sandwich thins with the turkey and the cheese or turkey and egg whites half a cup of coffee this is two smart points actually no it's not it is one smart point 
and this is four. So five smart points for a snack. And we have lunch at a friend's house coming up. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to have. I know we're going to bring our grass-fed beef because um, we're going to have them try it to see if they like it. Instead of, you know, wasting money on stuff they don't like, they might as well try some of ours. So we're going to do that. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to have... I'm not sure what I'm going to have. I'll let you know. Hi, guys. Well, I am on my way to a friend's house. And we're going to have lunch over there. So I just wanted to update you. I didn't have anything else after the Sandwich Brothers snack. So anyway, like I said, I don't know what I'm going to have there. I'm going to stop at the gas station, get some water to refill my water jug. And I brought some carrots along that I'm going to snack on. Other than that, I'll let you know. So we will see you soon. Bye-bye. This was lunch, guys. It was the Fresh Express Chopped Kit bacon and blue cheese or blue greek yogurt with blue cheese dressing it was pretty good um we probably won't get it again it wasn't our favorite but it was pretty good and bratwurst with onion hey guys we had well i had a sara lee two of the pieces of bread two ounces of turkey and then onion and green pepper with a tablespoon of miracle whip and that was after our salad that was with our salad this was our salad tonight the thai salad style and this was five smart points and the sandwich was four smart points also had a string cheese for one snack for tonight is two slices of the sara lee bread for two points and the sugar-free strawberry preserves for zero and that is snack for tonight. I am going to be two over. I'm at 35 right now out of 33, but that's okay because I was hungry. Hi guys, totally forgot to do a closure tonight, but um, we are off to bed and I will talk to you guys in the morning. I did not get food for Saturday, but I do have Friday's vlog and today is Sunday. So tomorrow is Monday. So we will do tomorrow's vlog and I will get everything up tomorrow. We'll see you on Monday morning. Bye-bye. As you guys know, sometimes when we eat breakfast, she has to come in her kennel or her playpen. This is a pretty large playpen. And we got this little bowl. And as you can see, it's pretty small compared to um, Luna. But um, I think this is about a one cup deal. And it hooks on here and it screws in really tight right here. It's got this little nut. And oh my gosh, I can't tell you what a lifesaver this is because before we had that bowl there, as you can see on the outside of the gate, right there. And she would haul that thing around, spill her water everywhere, every single time. And it was so annoying, oh my goodness. And so I looked online and I found that one and it is expensive even though it's just a metal bowl and a you know probably something we could have came up with and made but she has tried and tried and tried to get that thing off of that little lip in the as you can see this metal thing goes all the way around this little this little thing here it goes all the way around and you can squeeze this tight where she cannot pull that bowl out she's tried and i can't even lift this thing up she has tried to get her little teeth in there and remove that bowl. Kevin, you Luna, you naughty little girl. And so I'm going to get another one for food. Although this food bowl hasn't, I gave her Miley's food bowl. And although that hasn't been too bad, she hasn't really tried to haul that around too much because she can't. The dog just um, made my scale say hello. <laughs> so anyway, she is, you know, maybe I won't get a, the water bowl was the mean thing. Aww, she wants to get out and play with Miley. You want to get out and play, Luna? I'm almost done, honey, then you can get out. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, Miley, you poor thing. You want to play with Luna? She's like, nah, I'd rather not. Okay, but I wanted to show you that because it's really cool, and if you have trouble with your puppy in this, and it fits in any kind of cage or anything, I mean, this little this thing right here turns and goes straight up and down so you can squeeze that in any tiny little spot 
and just plop it back down and then screw it tight closed. So it is a lifesaver for me. Lot saves lots and lots of cleanup. Just thought I'd share you with that with you real quick. They do have bigger sizes. I'll link it down below. And they do have bigger size bowls for larger dogs. So just to keep that in mind. I'm just um, getting some of these flowers off of my basil so they don't go to seed on me. Of course, we're not quite done with them this year yet. We had a big um, branch break off from my tomato plant. And I'm hoping that these tomatoes will ripen up. Because there's a lot of little tomatoes on there. I'm so disappointed. But yeah, it's gotten so big. This is it. And it just... These just fell right down. I mean, they're... This is a huge plant. And i got to start cutting them off, I think. Because they're going to get too heavy. And yeah. But yeah, the plants up here are doing awesome. I've got some major big tomatoes going on here so they're not ripening up yet my jalapeno plant up there is doing really good these got to get a little bit bigger and i'm going to pull those off we're going to make some homemade baked beans they're really 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 good i have to figure out the points on them because there's a lot of stuff that probably isn't weight watchers friendly but i'm going to figure out the points anyway and see what i can do with it so yeah that's those plants. I'll bring you down here and show you the others. This basil plant is it's just going to town. I have to pull the flowers off of that one too. My thyme and rosemary is doing really good. These peppers are doing really good. I've got some big peppers growing right there. This Roma tomato plant, guys, I cannot grow Roma tomatoes. Every time, blossom and rot on every, and they get tiny. That's as big as they get. So, I don't know. If you guys have any tips on Roma tomatoes, help me out with that. Because I have no idea what I'm doing wrong. Every year, same thing. I think next year I'm going to try growing them out in the garden and see if that helps. But, yeah. Otherwise, my other tomatoes, they're rocking my peppers. Awesome. They're getting big. No blossom end rot. Nothing. I'm putting in the same things in them. So, I don't know. And these are the sweet 100s. So, they get orange instead of red. So, and these are really good. And I've been getting a lot of those. I just don't know what's going on with that Roma, though. Can't, can't grow a Roma tomato to save my life. Luna just lost her first tooth, so she's not happy. She has to be in her kennel. She's dropping little droplets of blood all over. So, I thought until she stops bleeding, she's going to have to stay in here. I'm sorry, Luna. I'm sorry. Poor little thing. Out at the garden here something got a, into our cabbage here and we just left the one we pulled the other three but we left that one in hopes that it wouldn't get to our brussels sprouts and it would just eat that if it came back um like i said our cherry tomatoes here are doing awesome we've picked at least 50 or more baby tomatoes from here brussels sprouts are doing great you can kind of see them coming in can't wait to eat them. It's going to be so exciting. We're getting a lot of cucumbers now because I am self-pollinating them. These little baby tomato plants that I planted that I stuck in the ground, they, the tomatoes are getting ripe on those. So that came in. Um, bean plant is growing up. We've got um, we had a Um, I found a watermelon here. I don't know where it went to now, though. It's in here some. Oh, there it is. A little baby watermelon right there, starting. Cucumber needs to be picked. Um, and of course, we've got more cucumbers on this huge cucumber vine. Getting a lot of green beans. Get over to the other side. The cucumbers are growing right into field over there. Miley, stay here. Uh, <laughs> I have to keep the puppy chained up. She runs off. What you doing, Miley? What you doing? We were chasing a rabbit before. The puppy wants to join him. She just can't. <laughs> Poor thing. Maybe when she gets older, she'll learn not to run off. 
So anyway, I've got some hot peppers there that are turning colors. I've got this one, the red peppers here, changing colors for me. Take you to the other garden. These spadles, these things are doing awesome. No blossom end rot at all, as you can see. But they've got a ton of tomatoes on it. So those are doing really good. The leaves don't look hot, but hey, getting tomatoes, that's all we want. Zucchinis, <laughs> overabundance of those as usual. Cucumber, watermelon there. A couple more cucumbers. Some more zucchini in there starting. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Holy cow. <laughs> Look at this big thing. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to cut that off. I'll show you it when I get it cut. As you can see, this thing is longer than my, and my finger is not even at the end. This thing is huge. Wow. We're going to have to uh, make some chips out of this one and bake it, I think. Um, let's see if I missed any other ones around here. Let's set that one down there. And that watermelon takes a long time for them to grow, but looks like it's going to. Um, oh, I should try and fertilize that one. The flower's open so nice and wide. Go find a male flower if I have one. We'll try and find one from this plant. Oh, this one has one. So we will just take this meal flower off. And that's all we need is that little thing right there. And I don't think, oh, this one's kind of open. I'll fertilize this one too. So we get some good plants. Not like we need any more zucchinis, but hey, why not? I'm sure somebody can use them. Oh, that's another male flower. There, I should get a good zucchini plant out of that one. Oh, there's my scissors. I want to cut off these things that aren't. I gotta be able to see what I'm doing here. Miley! There she is. Come here, Miley! Luna, what you doing? Luna found something interesting. Um, gosh, I can't. Let me cut this one off because it's not doing all that hot. Throw that one over into the field. I think this one's not doing too shabby. Oh, we got some peas coming up. You know, I should really cut down some of these branches so it gets some light in here. My peas need some light, so I had to cut this all down. Hope you guys enjoyed the garden update. I will see you guys. Well, I'll be posting my Monday videos and the weigh-in next. It'll be uploaded Tuesday by morning, and I do have a special visit from my husband to update you on his lab results because he had his annual checkup and he is going to let you know how that went next. So yeah, should be fun. And I will post that along with the weigh-in video and my food for the day on Monday. So we will see you then. Bye-bye.